just making sure. All right, recording. All right. Well, hello, everyone. I am Antonio Torres, and I am a tutor at the Writing Center, UC Writing Center. Um, sorry, you guys don't have this little pamphlet to look on. I, do they? Do they? Yeah, they do. Okay, well, uh, I guess you guys do have this. Um, so I'm just going to give you some quick information on uh, the Writing Center, such as when we're open. We're open Monday through Friday, except on Monday and Thursday. Monday through Thursday, we're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., and on Friday, we close earlier. We close at 3 p.m., but we're still open at 9. And we're located at the Advanced Technology Center, Building 21, Room 177. So, um, who are we? Well, we are students. We're student workers, uh, so we're not professors. So you don't need to worry about coming to us and having that same anxiety attack when you show your paper to your professor. Um, and also, we are capable writers as well, hence why we work at the Writing Center. And also, we're friendly tutors, so you don't need to feel like we're going to be rude or anything. Uh, who needs us? Any student who is taking a class that requires you to write a paper, it's a good idea to come and visit the Writing Center. That way, you can help uh, format. we can help you format your paper, kind of guide you through it. And uh, if you have any more questions about papers or anything like that, uh, you're more than welcome to ask us. So what do we do? Uh, we help guide and empower students through the writing process. That's pretty vague, but um, like I said before, we just help you uh, format your paper and kind of guide you through it. So what kind of resources do we have at the Writing Center? We have uh, the li library database. I don't know how many of you have actually used the library database, but it can be pretty scary when you first look at it. However, we'll help you guide uh, yourselves through that. Uh, we also have Microsoft Office, just in case you guys do not have a computer uh, wherever you go, so at your house, let's say you don't have one or you broke your laptop, uh, you're more than welcome to use the computers at the Writing Center and use our Microsoft Office. We also have reference books. Uh, reference books are going to be on the shelves when you first walk into the Writing Center. Don't see many people use them, but you know they're still there if you want them. And we also have handouts. These handouts are in a handout tower. Um, we walk into the Writing Center and when you turn left, that's going to be the first thing you see. Those uh, kind of handouts that we have are helping you structure your essays with MLA or APA formatting and uh, grammar stuff as well. So things we don't allow at the Writing Center, we do not allow cell phones um, when you're talking on them. We don't allow that. You can use your cell phone if you are listening to music, though. That's cool. As long as you're wearing headphones, that's great. And as long as you're not blasting that music that we can actually hear it through your headphones, that's great. Uh, we don't allow uh, food or drinks either. That's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. If you uh, spill a drink or if you drop food on the floor, we get ant problems and we don't want that. And there's no disrupting working students either. That's really disrespectful. Kind of think about it if when you're trying to work, you don't want to be dis uh, disrupted either. So what things we help out with? We help out with uh, brainstorming, focusing your essay, writing a thesis, drafts, organizing, creating structure, research, citing sources, formatting, general ideas, transitions. And we also have you guys, uh, we, you guys can also print papers for free at the Writing Center. Uh, the, only limit, the only thing is that we have a limit of 10 pages, and that's pretty much it. And then we help you evaluate sources. So what kind of sources would be uh, pretty good and decent for your paper, research papers? So things that you should bring in, into the Writing Center are your student ID. That's because we want you guys to sign in when you walk into the Writing Center. This will be a sign-in computer. You can either slide your student ID card or you can punch in your student ID number. An assignment sheet will be great as well because we're not your professors and we do not know what you're going to be writing about. So it would be great if you guys actually bring in an assignment sheet. Any drafts will be great too. That way we can leave notes behind or uh, that way we can just sit there with you and actually help you guide, guide you in person. We also offer resources as well. Like I said before, the resource, uh, well, actually, you guys should also bring in your resource too. So uh, that would be great. That way we can help evaluate those. And then a flash drive. Sometimes students don't come in with flash drives and then they get angry at us because they can't save their paper, but it's kind of on them. Uh, so please bring a flash drive so you can save your paper. Uh, and then writing materials. We are the writing center, so it would be great if you guys bring writing materials. Now, I know sometimes it can be pretty difficult for most of you to come into the Ryan Center because you guys live busy lives, but some way you can still get uh, tutoring is through online tutoring. Basically, there's a link on this tiny little pamphlet that you guys may, be, you guys may have, but um, you're just going to follow that link and it takes you to the online tutoring system. 
All you have to do is just write your name, your student ID number, your professor's name, add the assignment sheet, because again, that would really help us out, and then fill out whatever else needs to be filled out. And um, also, this bigger sheet of paper right here, this, lets, uh, this is basically just our workshops that we're going to be holding. I don't know if your professors would want you to go to a workshop, but right here in the back, it kind of gives you the schedule of what kind of workshops we're holding, such as like MLA uh, formatting, APA, some grammar workshops, and uh, organization workshops. So that'd probably be a good idea if you guys would like some extra help on that. Just come over to those. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, Jason. All right, no problem.